is uh, Thursday, May 13th, and we are live. Now, there's a chance you're going to be watching this later, and you'll just be watching the recorded version, but right now, we are live. And you know what? I, right when Ken gave me the thumbs up to start, I was trying to look at your chats. So I want to say hello to a couple people. Melissa in New Zealand on Facebook. Good morning. Good morning. It's not morning for you, but it's morning for me. Carol in Chino, California. Carol, did you know Kenny and I used to live in Chino? We didn't know each other when we lived in Chino, but both of us as children lived in Chino. Isn't that funny? Uh, let's see. I see uh, Cheryl is on YouTube. Good morning, Michelle on YouTube. Hi, Glamper Girl. Uh, she's busy coloring, she said. Um, let's see. Hi, Gloria on YouTube. Good morning, my friend. Hi, Nancy from Surprise, Arizona. Hi, Art from Houston. Good morning. Um, hi, Russ. Russ, I hope you saw the cards I showed on HSN Facebook the other night. If you didn't, I want you to go see those because um, I did get to show them off a little bit. Um, and those of you that did see the Facebook Live um, that I did for HSN for, with Suzanne, uh, if your card got shown, don't worry. I'm, if it didn't get shown, I'm going to show it on Monday on one of my No Makeup Mondays. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. Oh, there's Jacqueline checking in from Edmond, Oklahoma. Good morning. Hi, Dana from Virginia. Hi, Connie. It's afternoon for Connie. Good morning. Hi, MP. Uh, let's see. Happy Thursday, L'Oreal says. Well, yes, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. I know. Can you believe it already? June is in Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte, yes. Um, and Deidre is from New Zealand. Kenny, you were right. We are getting a lot more New Zealand. Kenny was saying the other night, he's like, suddenly we're getting a lot of New Zealand. So welcome. I'm excited. Hi, Karen in Pennsylvania on Facebook. Um, Viola says she's playing with her um, oven mitt folded. Yay! I know. I love that one. Isn't it fun? Perfect for the barbecuers in our lives and also the bakers like Katie, my daughter, in our lives. Speaking of Katie, really quick, um, I had mentioned on Monday that Katie had made me a pumpkin loaf, homemade pumpkin bread um, um, that she's been doing on her Instagram and she made me a whole loaf by myself for Mother's Day. And I'm embarrassed to admit and also proud at the same time that I ate the entire loaf, minus one piece because Kirsten had one piece, in one day. It is true. Kenny didn't even know that. Did you know that, Kenny? Did I tell you that? It's impressive. One day. <laughs> It's a little disgusting, but at the same time, it was so good. And if you're not following Katie on Instagram, she posts the recipes now, so you can see the recipes. Uh, her Instagram is Katie's Creations, Katie's Kitchen Creations, or something like that. But uh, yeah, she's all excited that you guys are following her, and it, it makes her so happy. She was telling me last night, I have 600 followers. It was so cute. So, um, hi, Linda in Alabama. Hi, Tina in San Diego. Good morning. Mary is on the Delaware beaches. Ooh, how fun. Hi, Mary. Uh, another Mary in Ohio. Um, let's see, Kenny, what you looking at? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, love the, oh, Kathy said, I love the pictures on Instagram on Mother's Day. Thank you. Yes, I did get permission to post that. Not from Katie, but from Kirsten and the ba uh, for the babies. And yes, I did post that. Um, are you not liking my shirt? Is that why you're looking at me? No. Oh, okay, because Kenny doesn't usually um, like when I wear big bulky things. But I figured I was cold now, but in a minute I'll get warm and then I'll take this off. So then I'll just have my shirt on. Uh, let's see. Hello, Josanne. Um, oh, Margie's waiting for her round tray tier kit. Tray tier. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Mine's back there. Um, I haven't restylized it. Um, oh, I froze on Facebook a little, Kenny. Facebook is giving us so much issues. Look at that, I'm like frozen. No, I paused it. <laughs> you paused it? Yeah, so it doesn't play. Oh, you yep. paused it so it doesn't play. Oh, how funny. Gwen wants to know, was it a mini loaf? Gwen? No, it was not. It was a loaf this big. Full size, Full king size. Shut up. <laughs> you guys, if you've not tried Katie's homemade pumpkin bread recipe, you need to. And I told her last night, she was here last night, Kenny had, um, he had church group last night, and so Kate comes to visit me um, because the family knows I can't be left alone very long by myself. <laughs> and uh, Katie came and visited me, and she said that um, I had told her that a lot of you had been asking, hey, you know, you got to sell this stuff. We want to buy it. You can ship it to us. And, and Katie's like, I wish I could figure out how to do that, but, you know, to keep it fresh and stuff. So she is, it, I, I, I kind of planted a little seed in her, in her but um, yeah, she is. 
She is kind of almost thinking about that. Gwen's laughing. No, Gwen, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to eat for the next week, let me tell you. But you know what? It was worth it. It was so good. Hi, Kathy on Facebook. She says hi to Ken and Stephanie. Uh, Sarah says, good, don't, good for you, don't share. You know what? Hey, it was my Mother's Day gift. That's, that's you know, I, I'm always big on not letting my kids buy me anything. Um, I want them to spend their money on, you know, more important things. Um, I'm not a big gift person, but when you're going to give me homemade baked goods, oh yeah, sign me up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, oh, so, uh, Jeannie says, Stephanie, you and Suzanne had so much fun on Facebook. You know what? We do. We do have fun on the Facebook um, lives because it's more relaxed. It's more just like you don't have a producer in your ear saying 30 more seconds. 20 more seconds, you know, like, I mean, it's just, it's more relaxed, it's more, you know, just chit-chatting like we are right now, and we do, we have a great time. Suzanne was on an island up north, and uh, she was talking all about that and how fun that was, and, and yeah, we were worried she wasn't going to get Wi-Fi. I didn't know until, like, a certain time that it was actually going to um, happen, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. We had a great time. What you doing, love bug? Tell everyone I'm going to fix the mic. So oh, Katie's going to fix the mic. Is the mic not working right? The mic is just the camera mic. so it's Oh. Bad. It's going to sound a little better. Um, Margie says, sell the recipes. I buy recipes from another baker for $5 a recipe. Margie, wow. That's an awesome idea. Um, so most of them right now were not her own recipes, so she couldn't sell them. But now when she starts tweaking them and changing them and making her own, then she, that's a great idea. I will have to mention that to her once she starts making her own real 100% her own recipes. That's a great idea. Um, Elizabeth said uh, Suzanne was funny about Ken. Yeah, because Suzanne doesn't know, like she doesn't obviously get a chance to watch our live. She doesn't know how much Ken is involved in the company. She just mostly knows me because I always see her when I go to Florida or we're always on camera together. So she doesn't really know all about Ken and how Ken really does 99% uh, of all the work. I get to do all the fun. He does all the work. So it was nice that people were giving a shout out to Ken on the Facebook because, you know, it means a lot to both of us that you guys even know that, you know, he does almost all the work but I get to do the fun stuff I get to do the designing and the and the videos and things like that but you know now that he has a mic and we're supposedly did we turn up your mic sweetheart so you're supposedly gonna be better yeah I think they can hear me let me know okay so if you sorry guys about that mic everyone oh, okay. just every once in a while I forget something and the mic was forgotten today <laughs> you guys have no idea how many different things three different cameras five different lights uh, there's a, a, a computer screen there that I can read your chats. There's a computer screen down there showing that I'm on the air, how long I've been on the air, what all the mic numbers are, and, and 10 different screens down there. Then he has two computers over here, plus the chat. It's, it's crazy. So you better no echo. Fantastic. And we do appreciate you guys jumping in and saying, hey, there's a little bit of an echo, because then it reminds Ken, oh, whoops, I didn't turn on that mic. So yeah, thanks. Um, Connie says, yes, sounds great. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, Elizabeth says, we can hear you, Ken. Loud and clear on Ken. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you. Yeah, last week, um, we realized his mic was a little too low, and it was almost like a whisper, and so I think we needed it to be a little No better. more whispering. No more <laughs> No more whispering from Ken. Okay, we're all better put our seatbelts on. We never know what's going to come out of that mouth. Although, you never know what's going to come out of mine. Um, let's see. Grinalda says, Ken is our hero. My daughter loves his eyes. She met him in Orlando and was wowed by his eyes. She was 14 at the time. Oh, oh, she is 14, but 12 at the time. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. You know what? You know who has Kenny's eyes? is Miller. Baby Miller has baby blue eyes and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, he has grandpa's eyes, which is really fun. You know, he's grandpa's eyes. Um, so what else is new? Katie came over to see us. We saw the babies this morning. We had a little play date this morning with the babies. Um, any other... We made a friend. At oh, we did. We, um, K um, so as you all know, uh, KJ lives near us. We live in Orange County. Um, we don't say much more about that, but, um, and we met a friend. We were at the beach because um, we like to go to the beach. We meet at the beach, you know. And um, she, there was a, a woman there, and her son was 17 months. Our babies are, what, 14 and a half months. And uh, she came over and, and started talking to us. And, and Kirsten's very, very lonely um, because, you know, as she, you know, she moved. And, you know, it's hard to find new mommies, especially during the pandemic. 
you know, it's hard to connect with other mommies. Well, sure, you could do Zoom, but like really, right? You don't have time to do Zoom <laughs> when, you have a new, when you're a new mommy. And she hasn't been able to connect. Like we're, we're looking for a MOPS group for her. And um, we found a couple little options that are starting to meet in person again. And it was just so wonderful for them to, and they actually exchanged numbers. That was me. I said, you guys should exchange numbers. <laughs> And this mommy, um, they would have to, you know, drive to meet each other, but, it, you know, because, but, but it's worth it. And we're really excited that maybe they'll connect and, and she's a full-time mom too. And so we're excited about that. Um, yeah, Ken is sweet, Stephanie said. Uh, that's nice. Um, no worries, you're professionals. Uh, Stephanie's always so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody said we're um, professional. Yeah, somebody said we're professional. Isn't that nice? Oh. Semi. Semi. We try. We try to be professional. Another one in New Zealand. Anne's. You're the third person in New Zealand, and she said it's only six o'clock in the morning there. Woo! You guys are awesome. You're my heroes for getting up that early to watch this. Um, oh, Reagan says meetup.com is a good place to find groups in your interest and location. Oh, Reagan, I will have to mention that. Can you write that down for KJ? KJ might know because she's a computer person, but maybe, you know, she's very shy. Because this mommy came towards us and Kirsten's like, oh, she has she has more guts than I do because Kirsten's just very shy. But yeah, I think that's a good idea. She kind of needed me to kind of push her a little bit. Um, hi, Jeffrey. Good morning. May the day find all safe and healthy. Thank you, Jeffrey. That's very nice to say. Um, Ken is loud and clear, Norma said. Awesome. I love seeing your chats better now, you guys, because he has the Facebook chat there and the YouTube, so I can go back to forth, back and forth. Um... Let's see, another New, De uh, wait, was that another New Zealand? Hello from New Zealand, a Debbie says, actually I'm in Houston, just kidding, <laughs> YouTube, that's funny. And it's interesting, all my, all my uh, New Zealand um, people are on Facebook that I've seen so far, so that's funny. Um, um, what about a craft off between Ken and Stephanie? No. <laughs> ah, come on, baby G. They don't. They don't know how much I edit my videos to make them presentable. <laughs> that is true. He does spend. I mean, well, I don't know for sure because I don't. I. I don't see you actually tape your videos, so I. Yeah. Yes. You don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cute. Isn't that fun that he does his own videos? I love it. I love it. Eventually, you know what would be awesome is to eventually get him where he would do some of the HSN spots. Oh. Because uh -huh. women love to see men on camera, baby. And you could sell a lot. He's kind of good looking. He's very good looking, actually. Yes. Hey, this um, paw print full has been out for a long time. Seems like. Has it? I'm gonna check the dates. You ordered it? I did order it. Okay. That might be the one that I had to pay the fees on today. Okay. I don't know. I will check. Check. Kenny's gonna check. Um, Melissa says, we love you guys. Even my special needs nephew loves watching, so it's worth getting up early here in New Zealand to watch you live. Melissa, thank you. That's awesome. You know what? Someday when we get to start traveling again, like for real, um, Kenny and I will go to New Zealand to visit you guys because we, I, I need to think of a vacation place. I need to go away on vacation. As all of you know, nobody's been on vacation in a hundred years, it feels like, right? Um, and we, um, I, I missed, cause I had a big birthday last year. I turned 30, just kidding. <laughs> and um, we, so for Kenny's big birthday, we went on a really, like we saved up and we went on a nice vacation. And so we had saved up for my birthday trip and um, it didn't happen. I um, actually cannot blame the pandemic. It was actually because the babies were going to, you know, Kirsten was having all the health issues with the baby being pregnant, and so I couldn't travel. Um, so uh, we kind of skipped that trip, and, and now it's time to start thinking more about that trip, I think, Kenny. We need, we need a little... The funny thing is, is I say we go on vacation, but we really don't because we bring all our laptops and we bring, you know, everything we need. And we work... Usually what we do when we go to, on vacation, we work... We wake up, we work till noon, and then we turn everything off. So um, that's the longest vacation we've ever taken. Um, like real, real vacation. But um, maybe, Ken, maybe Ken can have a crafting corner on Wednesdays. That's a good idea. Janet wants to know, are you going to have any sneak peeks? Yes. I'm going to do a sneak peek in today's video. Um, Rhonda on Facebook says, Ken would have the HSN crowds eating out of the palm of his hand. I know. Sales would go up, wouldn't they? <laughs> I know. Uh, love Ken's videos. Colette says, thank you. 
Um, Kathy said it'd be fun to see you both making a card together. You know what? We, we do need to plan that, baby. <laughs> just No, we'll just do it live and we'll stand next to each other. No, we won't compete. We won't compete, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll craft together. Like, I'll help you. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. Be some tips. Basic tips. What what page are you on right there, baby? What page? Well, it was April for the pause. So April. I think from our special event. Okay, so they should be back any day now. Any day now. And oven mitt, the same. Oven mitt's gonna be probably a little bit longer, but not much longer. Okay, so. um, Oh, would you ask everyone if they if we were to do a nighttime version of this? We'd still have this version, but. You ask them. You have a microphone. (laughs) Would any of you watch if we did a, I don't know, it would probably be Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those nights, right? Yeah, because not Thursday, because we do this. Yeah, probably like 5 o'clock Pacific time, and we're just wondering who would be available to watch. If you're a daytime person, if you'd still be able to watch at night. We'd still do the Thursday afternoon one like this, but we'd like to add another one, something in the evening. Yeah. So... 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Would that be every week, babe? Or are you I don't know. He hasn't, he hasn't decided yet. But, yeah, we're thinking about adding another one because, you know, the traveling is probably not going to happen to the shows. So we were thinking about adding another live. So I do my No Makeup Mondays on Monday. <laughs> and then I do the Crafting Corner live on Thursday mornings. And so we were thinking to catch everybody else. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm seeing a lot. Perfect for evening. Um, yes. Ask what time it would be in uh, New Zealand. <laughs> what time would it be in New Zealand, my loves, if we did it at 5 p.m. 5 Pacific. 5 p.m. Pacific. Like LA time. LA time. Uh, love that, yes. Oh, it's going fast. Tuesday, yes. I, yeah, I don't know if Wednesday would work because you have church, babe. So we really wouldn't want to be, be able to do Wednesday. Yeah. Um, although, if we did 5 to 6 on Wednesdays, that would work. If we just, if you left right at 6 o'clock to go. That would also be an option. You might just have to sign us out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could just sign it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Melissa said 5 p.m. Pacific time is unfortunately 12 p.m. Pacific time, so it would be I would be in the classroom teaching, Melissa said. Okay, okay. So 12 p.m. means noon, right? See, I never know that part. 12 a.m. is the morning, is in the middle of the night. Okay, I always get confused. I'm not, not the brightest bulb on the tree. Um, do you have time for the Karen and um, Kirsten bags? Do I know when they're good? Kenny, that's a good question for you. The Kirsten and the Katie bags, do we know when those are? Or Kirsten and Karen. I saw, a, um, Bonnie said Wednesdays are church. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Wednesdays would be church. Um, Let me look. Kenny's going to look. Um, I did get a whole bunch of purchase orders from Crafter's Companion, and I kind of like glanced at them, but I didn't really look at them. Um, but... You want me to tell you guys a story? So, you know how most items come from overseas on those big container ships, right? We've talked about the container ships in the past. Well, each container, you know, remember how I said like they hold like 25,000 containers? It's really crazy. Well, I I got an email today because one container for a huge truckload, you know, it's like one of those truckloads. One container in the past before the pandemic was like $1,800 to ship to the U.S., okay? $1,800. Well, I just got a quote um, for something that um, I'm working on with another company, $8,000. And there will be delays, they said. So it's, that's what, quadrupled, more than quadrupled in price. Isn't that crazy, Kenny? Okay, so what were you gonna, were you, are you trying to wait for me to shut up? Let me stop talking so you can, no, okay. Okay, so Kenny's looking those up really quick. I'm gonna jump in. Um, Kathy says, looking for all of the bags that are on back order, um, I have some organizing to do. Yes, um, actually, um, yeah, so as they come in, we recommend you order them because they'll never all be in stock at the same time. Um, People are finding out that we are able to keep them in stock longer because we order larger amounts because we we know a a a lot of Tiffany fans will go to our website to buy that might not necessarily know us, but they know that we carry a lot of Tiffany stuff and we try really hard to keep it in stock. So, which obviously doesn't look like we are right now, but it's true. So, um, he's, he's looking up all these, yeah, there's like all those purchase orders that they, they set, they're all separated, so it's hard to know. So he's trying to search. Uh, uh, just give me one second. Okay. Uh, let's see. Release night, tomorrow night, release night. 
Um, the 15th is a technically the release day, but um, the release night is tomorrow night, and I'm gonna show you a sneak peek today. Also, Kit Club, we sold out of the April Kit Club, but May is gonna be released on Saturday. It will ship on Monday. And Katie was just informed me that she finished closing all those boxes up. And so they are ready to ship. And she was actually proud because I think it like, it was, they were finished like a day ahead of time. Katie was all excited. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, and Kenny will be shipping those on Monday. Any update, babe? It looks like a lot of the Karen and Kirsten stuff will be back and well, they're giving me a date of late June, but most likely, I'm sorry, late May. Okay. <laughs> most likely early June. Okay. So, I've two seen plus Karen weeks and still. Kirsten on those. Karen and Kirsten yeah, on those. Yeah, I think both colors. Both colors. Oh, both colors I though, think, at least. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Carol, I wish we could have more products made in the USA. I wish we could. Um, well, Crafters Companion stuff, obviously, we have no control over that. Um, a lot of our items are made in the USA. Our, our stamps, our blocks, our inks, our papers. Um, so it's mostly the embellishment and the dyes that are the only items that are made over overseas, right? That's our company that we have control over. Yeah, dyes and... And the reason why I have my dyes made overseas is because I don't want you to clip them apart. I've heard way too many horror stories of people clipping other brands apart because, you know, they, the ones in the United States are connected and you have to clip them apart of people needing um, Band-Aids afterwards. <laughs> and I don't want to, I, I, I can't imagine the emails I would get on that. <laughs> um, okay, boom, let's move forward. We are going to make a card today and I'm going to show you a sneak peek. This is, and actually I saw somebody that um, actually kind of was hoping that they were going to get something like this. Joan said, your stamps are amazing quality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here we are going to, dun, 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 are we on camera one or what camera do you want to do? Camera two? Camera two. This is, well here, I'll show you this because this is like the cutest. Look at this. Don't. It is a 4th of July set. Now, those of you in New Zealand, I know 4th of July is, doesn't mean much to you, but there are other things being released tomorrow night. This is being released tomorrow night. Let me show you the actual items because that you don't know like what part of the items it is. It is a stamp set. Let me, can I show you? Oh, does that show up? That doesn't really show up very good. I, I threw the back away already. Hang on. Let me get this paper. Look at that. That shows up way better. So it's a 4th of July stamp set and a 4th of July die set. At least one of these items will be on flash, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, the dies are on flash. However, I did not order very many. I'm looking at that number, surprised that that number is so low. Wow. Okay. You must um, not love America. Shut up. <laughs> work. No, because we have international people. So I think I said, oh, well, I won't order as many, but that just wasn't very many. But now the cool thing about this is the happy 4th of July. Those are all separate stamps. Those are all separate. So you could say you could make a block out of it. You could make different things. I'm going to work on that today. I'm, we're going to do some stuff today with it. But then you have the four and the July and the of um, you don't have the happy, so the happy you will stamp, actually. But uh, this one's really awesome, perfect for paper piecing. That's what we're going to do today because this die cuts out all the fun pieces, and we're going to have a blast. So here's a sample of one of them. Let me show you this. So there's a sample right there, and then here's another fun sample of it there. This one's colored. This one, oh, they're both colored, actually. Yeah. Now, some of you I know don't like to color. Um, and that's why you need the dies also. So let's um, go ahead and switch to camera one again. And we are going to make a card because that's what we're all about really. Officially, this is supposed to be just making a card. Um, and uh, totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so we're gonna make a card and I need to get out. I didn't realize I don't have a card base out. So let's grab a card base. Um, out of my Kirsten bag. Oh, crashed and bang. You know what card base that is because maybe a lot of people are new who are watching that don't aren't familiar with our card bases. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna grab the and I'll talk about it a little bit. 
Oh, those of you that are new, um, welcome. My name is Stephanie Bernard, along with my husband. I own a we own a company called The Stamps of Life. Our website is thestampsoflife.com. Ooh, this one would be pretty. Oh, let's do this one. Okay, so this is one of those dies, and those of you that have been around a long time, you know this, you already have this die, but those of you that are new might not have ever heard of this, because I haven't talked about this in a long time, have I, Kenny? I haven't talked about the must-have. So this is one of those dies, and maybe Kenny will do a double shot. There you go. This is one of those dies. It's called Dragonfly and Flower A2 Card Set. There are a couple like this. They're listed on our website as must-have. Why is that? Because this die set makes, and I don't even have, I, I don't keep it in the envelope. I keep it separate. Oops, sorry, five by seven. I actually keep it separate because it, it never goes away. This is an A2 size card base. A2 size card base. How many times have you gone to your cardstock and you've grabbed a piece of cardstock? Go ahead and switch cameras. You've grabbed a piece of cardstock, whoops, and you have taken it to your trimmer and you've trimmed it in half perfectly. Then you've taken it to your scoring tool and you've scored it in half perfectly to make the perfect A2 size card. And you fold it and the corners do not line up. It's a conspiracy. It's true. It, they never line up. It used to drive me nuts. So, so that's why I designed this card base. Now this, when you fold it, it will make the perfect A2 size card. And you don't have to worry about the corners lining up because if you make your own, then you have to trim a little extra, then you have to trim a little extra. And now it's no longer an A2 card. This makes the perfect A2 size card base. At the same time, I never put this die away. It sits right here in my little crafting carry so I can always make sure that nothing gets lost, that I use it all the time. In fact, hang on, I'm jumping off camera because I got to get my crafting carry so when I start this project, I'm ready. It's empty because I finished my Mother's Day banner, so it's empty, I emptied it out, and so now it's ready to hold all my stuff. So part of this, and Kenny, maybe I get, sorry, go uh, overhead camera now. So this die is one of the ones that you must have, right? And if you only buy one thing ever in your life, it has to be this one. In fact, the packaging even says the die you have to have, it makes an A2 card. Okay, we have one of these for five by sevens as well. It also comes with a layering die, and I use mine all the time because you can see all the washi on it. It also comes with this gorgeous inside layering piece. And this one happens to come with um, a whole bunch of little dragonflies and some flowers. I don't know if the thinking of you comes in with it, but there's a lot of stuff in here, okay? Now, we're not going to use any of those. We're actually, I don't know if I'm going to use, uh, I haven't decided. Actually, yes, we are. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I'm going to put this in my crafting carry so I don't lose it. And I'm going to put all of my stuff in there. You can switch cameras again. I'm going to put all of these over here so I don't lose them. And actually, I have some card stock that I know I'm going to use. I'm going to put those in there. Coffee on camera. Oh, you turned your mic off. Good. I'm okay. A professional. You're a professional. Well, according to some customers, you might be a professional. Oh, okay. So is it back on now or what? Back on. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to die cut my card base. Again, I always go at an angle. I never want to go straight through a machine. It's human nature to want to go straight through a machine to line up all those lines straight. But if you go a lot straight, that's causing a speed bump and it's harder on your machine. And also it's not as easy to turn and your blade might not cut because your machine is jumping over that blade. So what I have here is I have the perfect Dun, 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 wait for it. A2 size card. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I have a trick about this. How many times have you gone to your craft area, your, if, whether it's your room or your dining room or whatever, and you're like, oh, I'm going to craft. And you're like, yes, I'm going to do this. And you're like, what should I do? And you're looking around, you're going, what should I do? What should I do? And so you go online to find an idea and two hours goes by because you're playing online. I know, internet sometimes not that all good, right? Because it can just suck the time away from us. So what I recommend, go into your craft area and if you're not sure what to do, what I want you to do is I want you to grab this die and I just want you to start die cutting a couple. Because you know what, look, 
You're always gonna need card bases. Look, I have extra card bases right here. You're always gonna need a card base in random colors. And if you just die cut a whole bunch, you're like die cut, die cut, okay, you made a white one, die cut a different color. Your creative juices are gonna start flowing and the next thing you know, you're gonna start making cards because you've gotten your creative juices flowing. You're not sitting in front of a computer playing on Pinterest or any of those. Instead, you're moving your body and your, and your, your muscle memory is going, oh yeah, I wanna do this now, I wanna do this, and you'll start crafting. So try it next time, try it, try it, and let me know how it goes, try it. Um, oh, please click the like button Kenny posted on there. We really appreciate that. Um, let's see. So here I have this and I'm going to take this background and I'm going to do something a little different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get ideally a piece of scratch paper. So let's get into my scratch bucket because I don't, oh, that's in the wrong spot, because I don't want to use a good piece. And this one has a lot of scratches on like ink on it. So I'll use this one because I'm going to make a mask or actually technically a stencil. So I have these two pieces die cut. They come in the kit of the A2, and it doesn't matter that I'm on scratch paper, and I'm just gonna run this through just like this. And what I'm doing is I am making a little stencil. So this is just on scratch paper, no big deal. Just lay that down, get that on there. We have a question, Do you, are there speed bumps for the Gemini machine as well? Yes, and uh, Saro sometimes, I've heard her talk about them once in a while. She doesn't call them speed bumps, but yes, I would even, even in that awesome machine, I would highly recommend, am I crooked? I would highly recommend you, um, you still go at an angle even in the Gemini machine. She calls them something else. I don't know what she calls them. In the UK, they're probably called something else. But um, for her, yeah, the answer is yes. And Jana <laughs> wants to know what you mean by an A2 card size piece. Oh, good question, thank you. An A2 card size is standard card size. So, uh, uh, Card makers tend to make four and a quarter by five and a half cards, this size right here. What it is, is technically, it's a fourth of an eight and a half by 11. Now in other countries, those of you in New Zealand or in the UK or anything, you might have a different size that's normal, but in the, in the United States, we consider A2 a standard card size. Now we also have five by seven, and that's like the A7 technically, it's, but we call it five by seven, and um, it's a bigger card size. So that's another die that we do have. But A2 is four and a quarter by five and a half, standard card size. And it's probably the most popular um, card size in America. Good question. Melody has a good question. Can you read that one? Oh, uh, we'll on, right. uh -huh. on YouTube or Facebook? Uh-huh, YouTube. Where is it? Um, if I, is there an easy way to find must-have items on your website? Wait, great question. Kenny, can they type in must? I think if they type in must, let me check. Kenny's going to check. Um, I, cause I feel like there are, uh, let's see. He's going to, it should, the flags should pop. No. Type in must have then. Try must have. No. Uh, that needs to be a question for Amy. We will work on that because that's a good idea. I really thought we could search product labels. That doesn't make sense. Yes, we will work on that. Okay, so here I have my little stencil that I made. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna take this dot, that, this layering die that, I, that came with it and I'm gonna get some white again and I'm gonna make another background piece. So let me just do this really quick. Can he answer a question or talk or something? Well, I would like it if you spun that secret weapon a little bit so it looks straight. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> such a baby. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me look and see if there's any questions. Oh, well, about the card kit, it is packed, so that's a surprise to me. Ah, so yeah, that, Katie told a, me, honey. That's a great surprise. Uh -huh. We will be shipping that on Monday the 17th, bright and early. Yes. And the important thing about this card kit, of course, it's going to be a lot of awesome fun, but it has the 6x9 <gasps> oh, paper right. pad in it, and I know a lot of you are always asking for that. I guess it works with the slim line. Yes, it does. And are there any other good uses for a six by nine paper pad besides? Uh, does it work card like making? a five by seven or? Uh, six by nine would be yeah, five by seven, yeah. So that works yep. for that. Yep. So, so your yep. card fronts and that kind of stuff, yep. so. Yep, 
that's going to be great. So this is a good time to sign up if you're not in the club already. I was thinking about yes. that. Yes. Yes. And we've been talking about doing more freebies. Not in this yes. this month. Not this but, kit, but, but coming more. Coming soon, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So I just grabbed another piece of scratch paper that it's already has inking on it. And I'm going to lay this faux stencil down on here and I should have used adhesive on the back of it I didn't think far ahead far enough ahead so I'm gonna just use some um, uh, see I'm trying to I gotta remember to put, always put my dot everything back in there what's the tweezer timetable oh that? gosh I'm so surprised they said it's gonna be um, like 30 days from now I was really surprised it was gonna take so long so probably mid-june uh, sadly but yeah, mid June, and but it's worth it. They're awesome. I'm so excited about those. Shirley says she wants like a Steffi doll folded or Ken doll folded. Oh wow, that'd be cute. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taping this down because I am going to use this as a stencil, and I'm taping it in all the spots just because. Okay, there we go. And now I am going to get my inker, my brushes, and my, uh, what is this? Uh, and where's, where did I put my, so. Do you have a guess of how many, um, re-inkers the Dawn bag will hold? The I, Dawn bag? I don't know that you have that on. I do have the Dawn bag. Oh, you do? Here. No, you, right here, I don't know. Here, you, you figure it out. I'm going to guesstimate. No, no, no. Here, I have more inkers. Test one of no. those boxes. No, Test. I can't. No, just, just one of them because there's already two in there. Two. So just empty that out and just, and test it. Okay. So he's going to look. Okay, so I'm getting my strawberry. And if you guys don't have this, oh, hey, they can't see this. But if you don't have this case, you got to get it because, look, I can just pull out the strawberry and put those back in so I don't have to worry about them all spilling. Okay, so there's my straw. Wait, yeah, strawberry. And then I'm also going to get out the blueberry. Oh, blueberry's all the way out there, so we'll just grab that blueberry. And slide that back in so I don't lose it. Okay, so now we have this. Oh, the lowest tote. You need to ask about those, um, the vinyl storage, um, the packages. Last time I asked Lil, uh, our salesperson. Um, What's it called? The it's the vinyl storage that fits in the um, lowest uh, the lowest tote. We have the lowest totes in stock. We just haven't put them on the website because we don't have the other piece. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I'm doing ink on the one side. This is going to be the blue side. Okay, and I'm going kind of dark because you know blue and but i'm not going all the way i'm only doing this end and i will really want it to be dark so i'm gonna add more okay so nice and dark but notice how it's darker over here and it gets a little lighter that's on purpose okay okay so now i have my dark blue then so it's faded to white i'm going to flip this get my other brush get my other brush Full product placement right there. Look, Ken, you can see it like right there. Isn't that awesome? That's why I put the logo up here and not down here. Isn't that smart? Okay, so now red, I'm gonna do red up here, right? But I'm putting my hand here to remind myself not to go all the way. <laughs> I'll forget. So I'm estimating that bag, Don bag, holds 16. 16, okay. Unless you really jam them in there, which well, I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that either because then they might squirt out or something okay what other one um yeah okay so here i'm adding the red hi cookers what you doing this looks like one of those um popsicles that you'd get like when the ice cream man came Remember? okay so here we go now so there's my there's my background and what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift this up and look how stinking gorgeous that is isn't that pretty? So it's red, white, and blue because I wanted red, white, and blue. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Dang, you guys. I act like I know what I'm doing. Okay, so there's my background. Now I can save this little stencil if I want to or I can throw it away. I'll probably save it and just put it in the envelope that it comes into. It comes in, then that way I have a stencil for the next time. 
Um, and then, you know, it's all in that one one spot. Actually, I'm going to put these back right now, too, so I don't lose them. See? Look, I'm getting so organized. Tiffany would be so proud of me. Um, so now I have this, and now I want to die cut more. And I'm going to die cut the um, heart. I want to do white for the shadow. And did I just like, oh, here's my... Okay, so I'm going to do white for the shadow, and then I want to do, let's see, hang on, get, loop over. Okay, white for the shadow, and then I'm going to do, I need to do cookers, leave daddy alone, she's like scratching him. So I'm going to do red um, glitter paper, because, you know, hello, red glitter paper, it doesn't get better than that. Um, also, um, Katie took home some work to do, she's going to, um, Kenny, were you excited that you didn't have to pack all that? Yes, I was happy I don't have to pack that. Yeah, so I told Katie last night, I said, hey, do you need more hours? Because why don't you pack some of this glitter paper? So she's going to be packing some glitter paper. So Lana if... Want, well, Lana wants to know if there's any chance we'll get in the Nancy bag, but I checked our website. We don't have a Nancy bag. Is that oh! Different? We don't, no we don't, well, we don't can order look. it. We we'll can look. order it. Yeah, we need... I, mean, I, I think, you guys, I think we should carry, like, all the, all the um, tip bags, don't you think? I mean, yeah. why not? Lana, if you're still watching, tell us what you store in the Nancy bag. Yes, please. To give us an idea. Nora says, good thing I introduced my family to the Stamps of Life in New Zealand. Been a member for a long time. Thank you. Does the glitter come off the paper, Janet wants to know. Great question, my love. Check this out. It does not. Look at this. I can scratch it probably all day long. It doesn't come off at all. And let me, let's do an overhead of this because this, this paper, um, when the light catches it, it, on camera, it doesn't even do it justice. But it is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, sunlight especially. Ooh. When sunlight hits it, it's amazing. Light, yeah. um, but so here I die cut all of my stripes in red, and then and I have red stars, but I don't need those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut the same. And I did have some. Oh, here. So I'm going to do silver for, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to, this silver is amazing too. You guys, look at the silver. The silver like will knock your socks off. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And that's on camera. Imagine what it really looks like in real life. Okay, so I'm going to grab some new silver and I am going to um, add some adhesive on the back. And oh my gosh, it's almost blinding. That's how gorgeous it is in real life. Like right now I'm looking at this going, woo, that is bright. It is so pretty. So I'm going to peel this off. This is the adhesive. And I'm going to add this to the back. So now this will be one big sticker. Oh, get this. The Nancy tote bag yes. is designed to hold the 9 by 11 rotating design board. What? And your favorite markers. Wow. Well, yeah, we need to get that. Yeah, we can, we can get like any TIFF stuff that, that we can ship. See, the big issue is a lot of the Tiffany stuff is big and it's not easy to ship and then um, we run into those issues okay so I did that and now I need to do it in blue and then I will be ready to put together so I have light blue let me see if I do we have a dark blue glitter I almost don't think we do I think we only have the one blue okay so we'll use this one this one already has adhesive on the back because I grabbed it from my special stash over there so I'm just going to die cut because I don't want to waste any of this I'm just going to die cut the blue part of my of my heart so now the dies will be on flash sale tomorrow night um, again just a heads up on this one I did not order very many of these because our our international customers might not want these although international customers you have friends in the 4th of July uh, that celebrate the 4th of July in the United States you might want to make them a card so okay so now we have all of these pieces where my tweezers and we're gonna just poke these out. And now we're gonna start putting this baby together. And, come on, come on. Oh, okay, that, well, I do, oh good, I didn't need those pieces. Okay, so here we go. So let's start putting this together. I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this. And what we have is we have our cute little heart. I'm gonna pop this hot heart up, but, oh, you know what? I put my adhesive foam somewhere else because I think I thought that, oh wait, you know what? It might have fallen. Oh, it did, because I had too much of these foam. Look, I was trying to be smart and I put it all in a little pack, but it's not a good spot for it there. Okay, so let's put this together. 
And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my kiss cut pad because I don't know, here's an example of why you need the kiss cut pad. I'm looking at my shadow and I'm going, okay, where am I gonna put all my stripes to make sure they line up? <sighs> right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down right on top and I'm gonna get my kiss cut pad. The kiss cut pad is like a cutting pad, but it's not because it's not as thick. So it is not gonna cut your paper. It is just gonna barely, barely emboss or deboss it technically. Now, sometimes it cuts all the way through, but usually it doesn't. It depends on your cutting pads and everything. I'm okay. okay. Yeah, it was the die. It was stuck to this and it flew. Okay, but now look at this and actually let's do the overhead so they can see. Look, and now you can see the little, whoops, maybe. Come on. Can you see the little lines, the indents? It's way, easy, it's way better on in, in, in person. Why can it not, it's not like, oh there, you can kind of see the imprint, see it? So now I will know where to put those pieces. So let's start putting this guy together. Let's. Rain says so she just received her tiered tray today. Yay! Have you, off, have you shown off how you decorated yours? Did I miss that? Um, I feel like I did, did I? I'm not sure. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm seeing all those pretty colors and stuff. Like no, that. I did I show it in one video. of the videos, I think. Okay, maybe it I was could... Monday? No, I no, up. I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. I, I, You know what I need to do? We need to start doing a video on me putting the tray, the, putting the stuff, decorating the stuff. And yeah, those birdhouses are look pretty amazing. awesome. Yeah, I'll show the birdhouse again because the birdhouse is awesome. Okay, so I just cut out all those stars, and I'm going to lay this down right there. And then, oh, and see, like here, how it kind of popped open. That's okay. Just leave it alone, and um, it'll, it'll. You're gonna cover that, so it won't matter. So let's do the stars last. Let's do. Let's start with this large red one right here. So we're gonna peel this up, and then we're gonna lay this down right there. We're gonna make a flag. That's the shape of a heart. Okay, red. And then we're gonna take the next one and do white or silver. For, our, 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 for us, it's, it's white. We're pretending it's white, silver. But look how gorgeous that glitter paper is. Okay, and then we're doing another red. Okay, so- Jean says, so the Kiss Cut kind of acts like an embosser? Kind of, kind of, because it just makes it literally kiss the um, paper, and so you'll know exactly where to put the pieces. Sometimes it cuts all the way through. That's okay. You'll still be able to use it. Um, some machines are tighter than others. Some um, cutting pads are tighter or are, are thicker than others, so it, it causes it sometimes to cut a little. Mine in this little corner cut a little. That's okay. Just know that that's okay. Okay, I'm peeling this up. And then Karen says her trays arrived on Tuesday, and she already has items on them. Yay! She's already decorated. Uh, now, make sure you um, tag... Home decor for life on your if you post it online and then we will repost it on our Instagram. Um, home decor for life and just do hashtag or do the tic tac toe sign and then do home decor for life one word and then if we see it we will be able to post it and then everybody will get to see it. I see there are some people that are joining late. Don't worry because this gets taped so yes. you will be able to. Um, Go ahead and skip back to the beginning and watch any things you might have missed. And if you just want to watch it again, it gets taped and it'll be on Facebook and YouTube and all that. Yes. Last week's was so funny, Kenny. I told I sent mom the link and I made her watch. I told her to watch it. Did she watch it? Yeah, she did watch it. She said, that was funny. <laughs> and I go, I know. That's why I told you to watch it. We're kind of funny sometimes. Okay, so now I got to get you. I'm going to use my little tweezers because this is kind of important. Because I don't want to get these little hearts see how they kind of like they have sticky on the back but I don't want to like really touch them too much so I think hang on where's the where's my heart I did give you a couple extra stars separately just in case oh you can't see it just in case um if you needed more but hang on this is gonna test my eyes out here whoops so we're gonna drop that one there Another option would have been just to put a big piece behind me that's silver, but I wanted to do it this way. Okay, keep asking questions or talking. I'm going to look. 
So Hold Kenny's on a second here. You can ask Kenny a question <laughs> while we're doing this because this is going to be a little tedious for a second. But look at these tweezers. I love them because then look now it's like holding it and I don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, are there what else is coming out on the fifteenth? That's tomorrow night, right? Yes. Are there flash sale items. Yes, there are. How many flash sale? Let me look. I can see it. One, two. Oh gosh. See that third item on the flash sale? Can you send somebody an email that's supposed to be flash also? And it's not yellow, but it's supposed to be yellow. Kenny. Um, so Which item is that? It's the third item down. Okay. Um, so yes, so those three items are gonna be flash sale. And this is the dies for this set are one of them. And uh, the tweezers, if you're seeing, using the tweezers, those are coming out um, probably in about a month. This is a huge sneak peek. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, I'm gonna, no HSN in June. So HSN, no June. But yes in July and yes in August. Also, if you have the gingerbread boy fold it, the gingerbread boy fold it and you want to send in some card samples for me to take on the air, I would love it. Also, the flower to build one and flower to build uh, three. I need um, some of those also. Now these you gotta, gotta have to trim because they didn't like pop out right away. They're not supposed to pop out right away because they're like on the edge. Um, so I have to kind of like trim those back a little. Um, We're two weeks away from the class. That's Oh, up. yeah. Oh, Dina one sent me a text. Sorry, Dina. Dina sent me a text saying, um, make sure everyone knows that the class is literally almost sold out. There are 37 spots left. Probably wasn't supposed to say that number. But um, 37 spots left. And because we ordered more of this one to make sure we wouldn't sell out right away. Uh, so you have a last chance, last call for it to be able to watch it live. Also, um, also there will be a special release after the class for class participants. What about the homework for that class? The homework should be posted already on the class, on I've that page. I've seen a lot of people asking. Oh, that. the homework should be listed on that pay on the, on the class page. If it's not, Dina, I'm sure no, I will check. Go check. Kenny's going to go Sure check. it is. Okay, so there I have my cute little heart. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so easy. The easy card stock's in stock right now, too. Oh, good. For a good. limited time. So if good. you want that to So go if you need the, the card stock, or you just need a little sample pack of the card stock, try that one, because that's kind of cool. Homework will be available May 13th. Is that today? Today. But I... Is it not there? It should it be on the same page? It should say, there should be a button that says homework. So email um, Dina and say, homework, baby. Where's our homework? Or that might be an Amy question. Ask both of them. Okay, so here I have this. This is my card front. And so I have my red, white, and blue. And I could just kind of go, actually, I think I am going to just do that. I'm just going to do that. But I really want you to see the um, 4th of July. Is that me buzzing or you buzzing? One of us is buzzing. Oh, it's not me. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off. I'm gonna decorate the inside of my card because that front is just way too cool looking. I don't want to mess with that. So I'm gonna do this in different colors. Uh, and since I have my colors here, I'm going to do this in blue. And I'm just using what I've already done. And I'm I might not even use the shadows this time, which is kind of surprising for me because I usually do. And actually I will on the star so to make sure it shows up because I'm going to do the star in silver. So let's go ahead and do those. And Kenny can't trans tra uh, switch it because he's typing an email right now. Thank you, babe. Oh, now I am. Oh, the homework is already there, Dina said. It is listed on the extras page. Why, uh, Dina, why is it listed on the extras page and not on the page that has the class so it's on the extras page i think it should be listed on the class page dina 
I think we should change or add it to the class page also. I don't know if people, I, would, I didn't know to look on the extras page. Not saying I'm the and brightest. You're in charge of the class. Well, yeah, and but no, I'm not in charge of listing things on the website. Trust me, you don't want me listing things on the website. That'd be a nightmare. Okay, so here I'm going to open my card, and I'm going to add these pretty um, insides. So here I have the July. Where'd my J go? J, J, U. Look at this. L, Y. Look at that. That is awesome, guys. Right? And then I have the background of the star. Then I have my, and we're gonna grab all these. Now she's, we usually put it on both. Amy put it only on the extras tab this time. I will have her put it there too. Thank you, please have her put it there too. Okay, so Dean is like my right hand. We always say Dean is my right hand and Feeling's my left hand because Feeling's left-handed. So um, between the two of them, they are my, my girls okay so we're gonna lift this up and this is the star that says of and I'm just gonna peel this up so technically I do have the letters OF but I don't know what I'm gonna do hang on I want to peel this up peel this guy up come on F peel this guy up O and I am actually gonna do this I'm gonna lay that right on top of look at that see that's why I needed the blue shadow and I think I might be able to, with these tweezers, get the inside of the O. Now, if I am able to accomplish this, that is pretty impressive. Uh, it's very tiny. It's probably recommended to use the letter O instead. But Stephanie's going for punishment here. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is, come on. Okay, Kenny, you gotta talk, because like sometimes when I get like into these little things where I'm like getting you're the talker. I know. Well, uh, <laughs> um, uh, hang on. I don't Let know. If that's, gonna, uh, that's not gonna work. Scan. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. What'd you say? Oh, I'm scanning for questions. He's scanning for questions. Okay. So we're giving up on that, but it still says up. Okay. So we're grabbing that happy fourth of July. Let's see. Fourth. Where's the th? Yeah. So everybody's finding the homework on the extra page at the top so far. So yes. Awesome. Okay, so I'm grabbing the TH because it is not part of the dies. And I'm going to tell you guys to do something. Oh, they're really too close, though. They're really close. Really, really close. Um, hmm. Hmm. Do not do what I do. Okay, hang on. Diane wants to know if we would have ever thought about doing a Zoom crafty uh class but we have not thought about that though we a lot of not. people use zoom it would that's not something we have thought to do for a class no i think there's limits on yeah. how many you can do that's right and i think we were a little too concerned about that i yeah. think but ask her what the limit is if she knows what the limit is okay because i don't know what the limit is okay so i grabbed this did you guys see what i did i cut my stamp up but it's very very close i actually don't recommend you guys do that but you can if you want to, but do not hold me responsible if you do. Okay, so that one, whoops. Susan wants to know if there this is um, the die kit for this month, the die hard chip, oh, but it is not. It right? is not. No, we don't do um, we don't do Fourth of July for our kick or for our club because we have a lot of um, international customers that don't celebrate uh, Fourth of July, rightfully so. Their country probably has their own independence day, Yeah, they day, probably right? have their probably own special separate. day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm laying this out. I'm laying this out, and I'm going to say 4th of July. So What are your lunch plans or dinner plans today? Uh, <laughs> Kenny doesn't know this, but I think, did you hear me mention it to Kirsten? I think we're meeting her for lunch with the babies. Did you hear that part? Because we have to go out to get to, the, we have to go to the vet to get We're going to meet him again? Yeah, we're going to see him okay. again. Okay. Um, uh... I had mentioned it to her and she said, I'm not doing anything. So I said, well, okay, you're invited. Um, but we have to go by the vet to get Cookie's new medicine. Yeah, she needs medicine for sure. <laughs> oh, Z Dina said Zoom has a 45 minute limit unless you use the paid platform. So we would have to use the 
paid, which is okay, but I'm worried about the limit on how many people could be in it. Yeah, we're probably best just sticking with, with what we have. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, because we at least know how to do it. <laughs> so far, it's been working good. Yeah, it actually has. Okay. Maybe she's thinking more like for the crafty corner things, like what we're doing right now. Yeah. 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 Just always that limit. Here we have even, I don't know, maybe 500 people watching between oh, uh -huh. between um, YouTube and Facebook okay. and our website. Uh -huh. And I don't know about Instagram, but... Are we live on Instagram right now? We were, yes. We're connected. Fantastic. Yeah, we're on Instagram. Yeah, Insta. he has all these programs that do all this cool stuff. Okay, almost there, guys. Almost done. Okay, so look how gorgeous that is. Fourth of July. So there's some there's some people who say there's birthdays coming up on the fourth of July, so they're birthdays. Gonna wait for them yeah, to so. that'll be fun for for fourth of July birthdays, huh? Okay, look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the front. And remember, I had mentioned I wanted to pop this up, so I'm gonna pop up my heart with the foam that I put right here. I didn't put it in my. I gotta clean up. See, we gotta get all this organized. I'm still getting used to um, using my uh, crafting carry, but let me tell you guys, it is so much easier. Especially when I was doing that banner and I was really trying to make sure that um, I kept everything together because it was a couple day project. Um, so, did you hear any compliments on my banner for Mother's Day, Kenny? I did. I saw on the you did? pictures that you posted. No, I mean from people that came oh, to at Mother's the party? Day. No, they're not really crafters, so they just don't know how much effort and time and thought goes and into And love, 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 right? A so lot of love went into the banner. Kirsten said thank you a thousand times, but <laughs> I don't think other people appreciate my creativity as much as my daughter does. But, oh well. I don't do it to hear them say they like it. So I guess it's okay. Erica has one of the um, pieces of her wood in the home that's broken. Bam. Mm -hmm. She can just email the office, right? To get yes. a replacement. Yes. Email, email shipping at the Stamps of Life, not, no, not shipping. shipping. Okay. So, sh Erica, you want to email shipping at, at the stamps, stamps of life. Life. com. Yes, they'll, they'll handle that. Yeah. Maybe take a picture of yeah, one rope or something. Of it. That would be helpful, and then they can see and make sure you get the right item. Right piece sent to you yes. yes yeah any issue with a order from the website you'll want to email shipping at the stamps of life dot com because um Baleen doesn't have access to the warehouse because it's in a different state so she can't do anything except forward your email and then you might waste a whole day waiting for an answer so it's better to email shipping at the stamps of life okay so here, oh my gosh, you guys, look how gorgeous this is. Deb wants to know if you'll show that birdhouse that I will. is decorated as in the I home. Will. Let me add my little stamp on the back. Oh, I got a new one. I made a new one for myself. I was thinking of you, so I made you this card. Hug Stephanie. So I made a new one. Um, every once in a while, there's a space that I make a new one for myself. Poor Lynn, she says, I never get a thank you for handmade cards. It's depressing. Oh, it's depressing. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, people Lynn, you fish. need to make a personalized stamp that says, please say thank you for my handmade card, <laughs> yeah. for this handmade card. The recipients just don't understand how much effort you, and love. you put into it. Yes, yes they don't understand. They yes. don't. Which, you know what, obviously something's wrong with them because they don't appreciate it, but whatever, right? They just don't know. Oh, I got a little icky. Yeah, they just don't know. They don't know. We need to teach them. Okay, so there we go. Let's do camera two. Uh, so there is my card. Look how cute that is. So look how gorgeous that is. I love the red, white, and blue in the background. Open it up, 4th of July. On the back, my stamp. I was thinking of you, so I made you this card. Hug Stephanie. What are we doing? This one? Sure. We there. couldn't see the back that way. Oh, okay. Flip it over. And then there's the back. Where can they get a stamp like that? Oh, guess what? Uh -huh. We make them. <laughs> we make personal stamps. Great options. As long as there's not a bad word involved. Okay, so let me show you the home decor stuff because I've had a couple requests. Yeah. Some let people have said you showed some of them, but maybe a lot of people missed it. Sorry, I threw away something that was very loud, and I'm worried it was a die. Um, 
Yes, I'll sh I'll show you what. So some people didn't see it. Is that what you're Yeah, I think some people have, but some haven't. So okay. just a reminder sure to because it shows how yes. fun the trays are. Yes, and, and all decorated. And that's true. And just something a heads up on the tray kits. Um, we do still have May, which May is like it, it's they're loosely named a month just because that's how we organize them. But it doesn't mean in June you have to put May away. Absolutely not. Once you get it at home, it can be any month you want. Don't think that you have to put it away or anything like that. It's it's good forever, right? But, um, and it's very, here, I'll, sh I'll bring a couple pieces over at a time. So here is the, um, let's do camera two so they can really see it. So here is the birdhouse and it, it does coordinate, it does match our birdhouse fold it, the five by seven birdhouse fold it. And then I can prove it to you because I put somebody's um, card on and I apologize, I don't remember who, but it's glued on, but look at that. So you could even do that if you wanted. Isn't that awesome? But it does, I just did that to show proof, but none of this is painted. This is all done by paper, cardstock and pattern paper, the front. So that's the birdhouse. Um, the pieces are not sold separately. I know I have heard a couple of those. They are already kitted, so they're all kit together. Um, let's lay that down. I think most of the rest will stay if I go carefully. There we go. So this is the white rectangle tray. This little bird comes with this one. They all come together. I mean, they're all, but this one I have, it has a dowel, spot for a dowel. I didn't, I don't like to, I didn't use it because you could do that or you could put it on, are you gonna zoom out? Yeah. Okay. Or you could put it separately. I wanted to make it separate and I bought the candlesticks separately to add i recommend if you're going to get some candlesticks get a few because what if you want one that's white and one that's blue or black or orange or red they're so reasonably priced that especially with your club discount that you can um, paint them different colors i only have two because i have to order more from my website and so that's all why i haven't painted them yet um, i also have my cute little felt balls on here i have my cute little frame that says hello there that i painted and it comes with this cute little felt flower. I haven't put, the, I like to keep it separate. Originally I thought I would glue it on there, but I like to keep it separate so I can move it around. I have my wood beads on here. How do you attach all the pieces? Do you use tape or glue? What pieces? Like all the words and the- Oh, uh, glue, the house. glue. You can use glue. Yes, I use white glue. Um, you can use Aileen's um, copper tacky. Um, also you can use our um, best glue ever that we have on our website. Um, any. But in all honesty, hang on. Ugh. For the wood pieces, because you're going to be using a lot, go to your craft store and just buy this, the Aileen's Copper. You probably have this. You probably have this already. Um, it lasts forever. But you need a big bottle, so I'd recommend getting that at one of those big stores. But this is my rectangle tray. We kept the trays on flash sale. Um, because I did order a lot of them and I thought, you know what, it's best for you to get this on flash sale. Oh, and I did get my white handle. Where'd the white handle go? Oh, what? So I haven't gone to switch it out. So Kenny found it at the warehouse. Um, they had shipped it from Utah and I didn't get my white handle yet. But I do have the option to do a white handle. It's a separate purchase, but I do have the option to do the white handle. So if I didn't like the black handle, I could switch it out for white. So I might do that on mine because I like the, the white showing better. Um, PA says Stephanie can check the trash can. There's a die in there. Is it really? <laughs> I think because it fell earlier. Oh, there it is. She's right. I told you. There's a couple. It's, there's a couple in couple there. Couple people who reminded us now. A couple people who remind us. Don't forget about the lost missing die. Thank you. I found it. it was it just that one? You guys know better than I do. <laughs> I think it was just that one. Thank you, because I would have been so mad. Ugh. Do you, oh notice my trash can? It's a box. Um, Joe said the star die was in the trash. Is that correct? That's right. Oh my gosh, they're geniuses. They're geniuses. Uh, thank you, my loves. Um, yeah, so I use a box because I always have so much trash. I leave the one flap open in the back so when I throw it, if I miss it, it'll hit that and fall in. So yeah, that's my trash. Um, there is also a small real trash can next to it, but that never gets stuff. Thank you, my God, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, this is the tray. June is coming soon. Um, that was one of the emails I got. They're saying there's going to be a little issue um, with getting it uh, this week. So I don't know when it's coming, but June will be coming soon. And then you're going to mix and match. So for example, 
the hello there, I'm probably gonna leave that in my tray like for months, right? Or you could put this separately on your mantle or put it separately anywhere you want, right? You could literally put it anywhere you want. So um, I have my little felt balls. Uh, more felt ball colors are coming in the future uh, and more wood bead colors are coming in the future too. So lots of fun stuff. I just, I just wanted another outlet for my creativity and I wanted you to be able to use products you already have and use it in different ways. So, Since we're talking about birdhouses, did you tell the story about your bird friend? I did not. Let me tell you the story not about it. Do we have time? We have okay. time, but. Okay, so Kenny and I, as you all know, we moved into a rental apartment and um, we, uh, we, so our, our front door is downstairs, but we live on the second floor, right? And so we have stairs in the house, it's weird. Have baby gates everywhere. Um, but in between where we walk, where we park, and where, we, where we, our front door is, there are two gates we have to go through. Um, and it's literally a, a skinny walkway. It's not, I, why are there two gates, Kenny? We don't know, we've never figured that out, why there's two gates. And they're really loud and they slam, blah, blah, blah. Well, the other day, Kirsten was here. She was saying, okay, I'm gonna go put the stuff in the, in the, in the wagon and then I'll get the, come up and get the kids. My mom and I were here waiting, so we said, okay, we each have a kid. She goes downstairs and she's gone like forever, okay, forever. And I'm like, mom, did she say we're supposed to bring the babies down? Where is she? I mean, it's not that far of a walk, it's just right there. And uh, my mom's like, I don't know. And Kirsten comes in running. I was just attacked by a pigeon. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And the building next door has pigeons. I've, I've talked about this. They have pigeons living in their eaves because that building's really old. And she's like, a pigeon just attacked me. And she's freaking out, okay? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, there's a pigeon stuck between the two gates. Well, I don't know why it could be stuck because it could fly away because the sky's right there, right? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So one of us has the dog, one of us has a kid, the other one has another kid. We're walking down the stairs. I open the one gate and there's a pigeon on the ground looking at me and not very happy with me. Long story short, because it goes on forever, I kind of go, oh gosh, are you hurt? And he said, no, not really, but um, we did see him fly, so he can fly. We know he can fly. So I say, okay, birdie, birdie, you need to go this way because we need to go this way. And so long story short, I opened the other gate and my mom and, and Kirsten had to walk towards it to get it to go out the gate. So woo, we got it out the gate. So he goes away, leaves. When was it next that we saw him again, Kenny? Later that day. Later that when day. Home, yeah. Kenny got home. Pigeon yeah. friend was back. This time in the front, in front of those two gates. So there's no, he can fly because there's no way he could have gone through those gates by himself, obviously. And so he would have had to go like all, he'd fly or go all the way around and he, there's no way he could have walked that far. It's too far. So he can fly. But now he's at our front door. So the next day he was at our front door again. So now I'm saying, okay, something is wrong with my pigeon friend. I made him a little box house and I put a paper towel in there so he could tear it up and make it a nest. And then I gave him um, some bread and I gave him a little um, a cup of um, water so he could live in it. So he could live in this little spot that's not near the gates, but near my front door. So it'd be safe from all the bad people. I don't know. And so I was watching, I was watching, and I could see from upstairs, he did kind of go over there. So great. So Kenny comes home that day. I go, oh, is our pigeon friend still there? Haven't seen the pigeon friend since. <laughs> that was on Tuesday afternoon. So apparently, if you give a pigeon a home, it will move out. That's all you had to do. I know. <laughs> He's gone. 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 I don't know what happened to him, so. Pigeon friend is gone. Now, I did keep his home there just in case. It will stay there for a couple more days. That is my story. Um, two different candle heights uh, is good for what you put in front of it. Yes, yes, um, that's a good point. So there's people, Viola's at, talking about the candlesticks. There are two different sizes. Can you zoom in on that one, baby? So they can, on camera two. Camera two can see it. See it? Camera two can see it. You gonna zoom in more? Um, so he's going to zoom in on that, whoops, um, right there, that's good, but, um, it needs to be on camera too, 
We need to be on camera too. My friends need to be on camera too. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so there's the different heights in the candlesticks. So yeah, um, it is nice to have them different heights because you know if you're like, oh, I want my birdie to be there or I want my birdie to be here, there's my birdie and then this one can go on this one if you want. So yeah. And Sharon Two, says, she guessed this means we need a pigeon fold it. We need a pigeon yeah. fold it, no. <laughs> As someone mentioned before, pigeons are rats with wings. Yes, they are. That was the perfect analogy, rats with wings. Um, Christine says these trees are awesome. Thank you, Stephanie, for offering them. You're welcome. I'm really excited about those, them, because yes, you get your club discount on all of the items. And uh, with your club discount, it's way cheaper than anywhere else that you can find online. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, Kathy said, uh, you need to put up a plastic owl to keep them away. We used to have a plastic owl at, our, at the dream home. Where, why did we have it? Oh, because of the hawks. The hawks would come and try it because we had a really gorgeous backyard with a pool and a little view. They kind of come to swoop off with cookie. <laughs> yeah, they, that, the, the hawks would come flying and they'd circle our home because cookie really looks like a little bunny. So we had a bit, we had a couple plastic owls. Yes, we need to get a new one of those. Oh, Viola says FedEx just delivered her tray. Woo! Awesome, awesome. Um, I just came on, is the 4th of July stamps new? Tammy, yes, they are going to be, re it's a sneak peek. They're going to be released tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And the dies are on flash sale. A couple flash sales tomorrow night. Show the other birdhouse behind you, Shirley said. Yes. Oh, so here um, you can see my home sign. And I added my birdhouse. So if you have the home sign after when June's kit comes out, you can use your birdhouse over here with your home sign. So here is my home sign. I didn't um, paint because I have two kids. So I didn't paint this one. This is what it comes looks looking like. And then you peel these off and you paint them or use cardstock or paper. But I took another I took another person that made me another one who made this one. Elizabeth. Elizabeth made this one. And this is um, in my background. And it is a card, but you don't have to make it a card if you're just going to put it on the wood. But look how cute that is. And I thought, you know what? That one's perfect for my home sign. What happened to the painting, painting department? Did the department, like, close your dad? He used to do oh, painting. no, dad made me one. He, where, he made me the May, and I, he literally, I had to empty the box. That's the box it came in. I emptied the box because I was going to use it for something else. May what? May calendar. He did calendar. the May calendar. That's not the May calendar. Oh my gosh. No, that that's the one I made. Oh. Hang on. I'm looking for it. It's not on my desk. Do you see any down there, Kenny? Yeah. What happened to that? Dad made them. Oh my gosh. I feel horrible now. Oh, you know what? I think I put them in my bucket. I did. I put them in my calendar bucket. So yes, Dad made them and I need to, um, I need to glue them on. But Dad made the May. Oh, look, I can show it like that so you can see. Oh, yeah, this is the May. <laughs> okay, so Dad made May, and then he did this one really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then I love what he did with these. So the gold glitter is gorgeous, but he made them sunflowers. Isn't that cute? Which I was all, go, Dad. Look at that. He has more patience than me. Yeah, he does. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> and it's gold paint on the back. It's like glitter paint or something he found. And um, he said it took four coats on the background. Isn't he awesome? I know. I know. So, yes, Dad did those. I need to. I love these especially. I love that they're sunflowers. So, he did a good job. Dad did a great job. I know. I'm so proud of him. I thought maybe he got laid off or something because <laughs> I haven't seen anything he's painted. <laughs> so no. Great. No. And I'm, I'm in trouble because I, he never got the May tray kit. And so, he's upset that he didn't get this. So, I need to get... And you know what? We need to give him one of the trays too. So we'll get, we'll get that to him. So yes. Um, anything else, Kenny, before we No, everybody's shut down? saying that dyes flew all over the place during this. Oh yeah. Another one so. flew that way. Remember? Yeah. So check we have to find it when we're done. Oh no, no, I went this way. Here it is. Yes. Thank you. You guys, you see, you guys have my back. I know this. Yes. Thank you. Whew. Otherwise I would just be a mess. When is the June calendar coming out? June calendar. Um, that was part of the email I got. I don't know. I haven't read it yet all the way through. Normally, I try to go for the 15th. Starting with July, um, once the, they'll all be in stock and then they will be the 15th, but the June one is still a little iffy. I don't know yet. I'll have to find out. Hopefully tomorrow night. Um, Janet says you need to put your dad on the payroll. Janet, you're right, but the thing is, is I can't afford my dad. He, he would charge me too much. I'm kidding. Um, Irene says your dad did a good job. Thank you. 
Grinelda says, Stephanie, invite Mr. Sanchez for a craft day. I need to. My dad is a kick in the head. Um, he came one time to um, one of my classes in Ontario, because that's not too far from his house. And uh, he came and he talked to my class and everything. And everybody just loved, everybody loves my dad, because he is the funniest person in the world like he's the type he's the guy that when he's when the hostess is taking him into sit down at the, his table in the restaurant he will stop at every table and go "Ooh, what's that do you like it is it good what do you think should i order it and then he'll go oh wait what did you get and he literally will talk to every table we're all sitting down yeah, eating. no we all act like we don't know him oh yeah we do <laughs> we pretend we don't know him sometimes yes because he sometimes gets very um very outgoing yes uh too <laughs> much sometimes uh, Good, good old dad, but we love him. Little too friendly. Too friendly, yes, <laughs> yes. He has lots of little friends that love him. Let's just say that. So, Grinelda said yes, she met him there. Awesome, yes. And, and Linda says yes, we want to meet your dad. That's awesome. So, um, does the 4th of July heart fit on a folded heart? Yes, it would. Um, let me see if I have my heart folded really quick right here before we head out. Let's see. Birdhouse. Are our mini inks out of stock? Yes, they're on order. All of they're, them? All of them, except one, are on order. I think we have one in stock. I'm not seeing my heart right off the bat. Yes, it will fit. I just don't know exactly. I just sent the Cherry Plus mini ink pads on Tuesday, I think, so they should be there today, tomorrow. Okay. And I, don't, I can't find my heart. The pinks are still available, and the neutrals but the rest are and the all yellow oranges, order. but about half of them are out. Yeah, I ordered but the they're other. on order. Okay. I don't see my heart one, but it will, it will fit on there. I think the heart's a little bit different of a shape, but it would still look really cool. It would look cool. Okay, my friends, we need to head out because we have another video to tape and then we're supposed to go to lunch and I don't think all of that's gonna work, but thank you all so much for your love, your support and your prayers. Um, they mean the world to us and my family, my entire family. Um, because of you, Kenny and I get to do what we love, and that is amazing. That's not very many people can say that. That's pretty amazing. So I just want to say thank you so much. I will see you Monday for a No Makeup Monday. And have a great, safe weekend, and enjoy your weekend. Okay? Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. God bless.